My name is Ice Namde Mweke. My name is Ukalina Selene Puari. Well, um, I'm a dancer, a choreographer, and I'm the creative director of the Society for the Performing Arts in Nigeria, and also the artistic director of iExtreme, a new production company. IXM has been around for um, nine years in the incubation but for nine years. But we actually did a launch of IXM in February 26th, 2012. It is a production company that is into stage production, into um, music, into dance, into drama, into the arts, into animation. It's into the whole web of production as we get into even filming. That's in the near future. So it's basically doing, the, doing stage productions, TV productions at a very high classy level. Um, I studied theatre arts and during my course in theatre arts I was exposed to a whole lot of African dances and my passion and my desire for the area of dance has always been to learn as many dances as possible from the African dance to the Western dances. So I did a whole lot with the African dances. So I, after that, I turned my focus to the Western dances, the Latin and ball, the jazz, the ballet, the hip hop. So that's basically my main focus. So with that, I try as much as possible to add an Afri African influence into it. So it's more Western, but still African. I was a teenager, I've been dancing, and I started out with hip hop because that's what every teenager will always start with. And into creative dancing, hip hop, creative dancing, and that was when I was a teenager. But you know, like everyone always says, they're dancing at the age of five. They're dancing since I was a kid, but of course, it was usually the party dance, or maybe we're going to the village square to, to move our bodies and everything. So, but Professionally, I started in 2008. I've been in iExtreme, <laughs> funny enough. <laughs> a lot of people say there's no place like home. But at Limelight Hotel and Suites, we have a place that's just like home. Limelight Hotel and Suites is located in the serene and homely countryside of Agoiwoye, Ogun State. Limelight Hotel and Suites offers you nothing but the best in hospitality and facilities that you will not find anywhere. We have three bars, an oriental restaurant with a guarantee of uninterrupted power supply and reliable internet facilities, not forgetting our ATM machines and POS terminals to give you the ease of cashless fun. Come relax and retreat into the calm embrace of Limelight Hotel and Suites. For more information, log on to www.limelighthotel.com or email us on info at limelighthotel.com or call us on 0807-097-1904. Limelight Hotel and Suites, taking you... All the way from Port Harcourt when it started. Um... Then we'll just we'll do dance productions together, like dance performances and everything. I've been with IS Train and uh, till its birth in yeah, that's this year, 2012, in February 2012, where we had our maiden edition of our first production in Echo Hotel. Okay, basically everyone, we all have our resting point. You know, we all have our space where we just become ourselves. For me, that's it. Dance is me, I am dance. It's where I'm actually me. If you want to know who Kalina is, watch her dance. You just know everything that has to do with her. I, I cannot say this is what inspired me to keep dancing, but it's part of my life. Since I was a kid, I've always desired to become this, a dancer, so I don't know. So that's my dream. I'm living it, I'm happy, I'm excited, and I don't want to stop. What I extreme right now is walking towards the, the sequel of Love Is, which hopefully is going to start up again in the February next year. But like the first one took us um, six, August. Yeah, six, 
six months to put up. To put up, yeah. yeah we, we actually wanted to take time to actually do what hasn't been done yet in our country. So it took us a whole lot of time and we're already putting on in place everything that needs to be done for February. Apart from that, we're working on animations, trains for animations as we get into what we want to do in the future in the company. We're studying more on filming, um, working in for more training, more exposure so that when we actually do the next production or the next event, it won't be, won't be on, in the same place we were in the, in the 26th of February. Because our, our target is to always advance, our target is to always set a pace in the productions that we do. With, whether with um, the Performing Arts Centre span or with any other company that, that is around that we might probably collaborate to do events or productions with. Okay, um, first of all, I don't think I can quit dancing to get a, an office job. I'll probably be dancing on top of the desk. <laughs> I, I've met lots of challenges as a dancer. One, the finances. Uh, the state of the country, actually, we don't promote arts that much. So me being like a victim of the arts, which I, I still love a lot. I've, I've faced some times that I have to actually push through to actually get something done. And because one thing about it is that I love dancing. I, I, I can't do any other thing. I probably believe in another life I will still be a dancer. And so when I think about quitting, I think I look at the goals that I want to set. I look at the goals that I want to achieve in life. I look at the, the, the name that I, I hope to actually make in dance with the name of my country attached to it in the world. I, it's, it's too much of a price for me to turn my back on. So I, I don't let the, sometimes when I'm broke or I don't have something to eat, make me probably quit and close up and say, okay, let me do another job. No, although I paint, but now I'm even trying to paint because the dancing seems to be taking a whole lot because the dance world is too big. It's, it's, yeah. it's another industry on its own. Like you can't just walk in and walk off. So uh, I, can't, I can't quit dancing. Even with one leg, which I don't pray for, I will keep, <laughs> I will hop on the other one Go to dance. Kick your so nothing can, nothing can change that, nothing. <laughs> Come on!